I'm gonna be building the cheapest gaming setup using only things that I found from Walmart. So a couple of days ago, I went to Walmart and picked up everything that I needed and now we're here. Of course, I need a place to actually build the setup. So I'm gonna be building it on this corner over here. But as you can see, there's just a ton of cables and it's like no space at all. So basically what I'm gonna have to do, just clear out the cables, clear out everything on the top here. And I'm probably also gonna remove the pegboard just for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually keep up all these nano leaf lines. I'm probably just gonna turn them off because they're not really part of the Walmart setup. But I probably will just keep those on because I don't want to rip my wall more like this. We don't want that around here. Put up in a big body. I'm a hop out with a tan on me. I got brand new Getty Rains on me. 45 might put some wings on them. I wouldn't fall with them bad for you. Should have went ghost, but I sent for you. I got a message like 10 for Now you want to post, but you been folks. I hit a new low and stumbled on gold. I want it right now for taking it slow. 30 minutes later and it's finally completely clean. It looks really weird without any cables. It definitely looks a whole lot better. And the whole part of this room, it kind of is a little bit trippy because it never looks like this. So I'm like not really used to it. I'm actually really excited to start building this setup because I've never built a setup like this before. So let's get right into it. Yo, this monitor is actually really heavy. It's 32 inches, which probably is why. But man, this thing looks huge. So this right here is actually the most expensive thing that I bought for this setup. It cost me two. $250. I'm not even kidding. I looked around the entire Walmart for the most like kind of cheap budget gaming monitor. And this was the cheapest one they had. It's a 32 inch 165 hertz monitor. So it's not really that bad. But the problem is I was looking for more like a 24 or 27 inch monitor. But the thing is that they were not gaming monitors. They were only 60 hertz. So this is the cheapest monitor I could find at Walmart. But you guys can probably find some cheaper ones at your own local Walmarts. As you can see on my main setup, I have three 27 inch monitors. So this one is going to be a lot bigger since it's 32 inch inches and it should be pretty good quality since it's like 2k is 25 uh, 60 by 1440 pixels which kind of means it's 2k so it should be pretty good quality monitor was actually really easy for me to set up it only took me like five minutes or so probably because i've built a lot and to be honest like stand is like really really simple not complicated at all also i don't know if some of you guys noticed but i actually did change the desk into more of a standing desk position because walmart didn't have any gaming chairs and i don't want to just use my regular chair for the setup because it's not really part of a walmart setup and it's not really a gaming chair so yeah i'm just gonna have the desk in the kind of standing position so you really just don't need a chair when you have it in this like height this is the only thing i had to buy all online from walmart everything else i actually bought in person from walmart but yeah this is just like a condenser microphone or something i think it comes with a stand too so if it does that will be super super helpful it's gonna like unbox it real quick and actually see if it comes with a stand i need to make sure all right good news it actually does come with a stand and i think it's called nll i've never heard of this microphone but it cost me like 44 dollars. i'll pop a picture up on screen right now but this is the actual microphone here looks like a pretty decent microphone actually surprisingly from walmart looks pretty nice i can't lie but yeah i'm gonna just set this up really quick later in the video we should maybe test the sound quality i'm not sure Homie, this is not looking fire right now. It actually looks like a pretty good microphone. This was like $44, I think. Actually looks really good for it to come in like an entire set. Probably one thing I could have done better is to buy some like little Velcro strips and just like kind of cable manage it a little bit better. But bro, this is looking really clean right now, I have to say. Okay, this is what I've been kind of scared to test out. I've always seen these whenever I go shopping and I decided it was the perfect time to actually buy one of these. I've always been curious. You know these keyboard mouse headset and like mouse pad bundles i always wondered like how good or like bad they really were i think i bought this for 50 dollars. i'll have like a exact price up on the screen because i'll check the receipt but yeah i'm gonna just kind of check this out but already clicking the keys right here they're membrane 100 they're not like clicky at all like that those are the kind of cheap switches you would kind of expect from this type of thing
All right, so the mouse is actually not too bad, to be honest. My main complaint, just feeling it, is that when you click kind of over here, it's really not supposed to be, like, clicked there. Like, it barely actually goes in, so you have to really click it hard here. But then up here, it just sounds kind of normal and feels kind of normal. Nothing too crazy. I think the cable is, like, three feet long. I didn't measure it, but it kind of seems like it. So it's good that they're not making it them too short. I mean, it's just kind of like a normal mouse cable length, to be honest. And then here is the mouse pad. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this actually feels. This mouse pad literally feels exactly like any kind of cheap $10 or $15 mouse pad you would get from Amazon. Nothing different at all, but this mouse pad is pretty small, as you guys can see. It's just only for a mouse. It's not like one of those big ones where you can fit the mouse and keyboard. I'm not going to lie, but I think that this headset is probably going to be the worst part. It feels extremely i mean extremely cheap i mean it's just 100 percent the entire thing is plastic as you would kind of expect to be honest and i don't even want to know how bad the microphone quality on this thing is you just know it's going to be like really really bad so yeah i can already tell this headset is definitely a no-go especially once i start hearing the sound quality on this thing i'm probably just going to throw it in the dumpster after that lastly we have the full-size keyboard over here i actually read that it has like three different color modes i don't know why it came with a cd i actually have no idea what that is meant for there but yeah for the keyboard i've used a ton of cheap keyboards in my past making a ton of videos i'm not gonna lie it feels exactly like all the other ones just kind of like a normal plastic cheap keyboard you would expect kind of similar to like any kind of normal office keyboard just to give you guys like a kind of good idea of it i guess but yeah let's organize the peripherals okay so our roblox gaming setup is looking pretty good here we got the membrane keyboard the mouse pad you know what i'm talking about we got the mouse okay and then i also uh hung the headsets right on top of the microphone arm and yeah this is actually looking like a pretty decent setup i must say so myself since this is a streamer kind of budget setup i'm going Going for here you cannot forget the lighting i'm literally struggling carrying this with one hand but yeah we got some two mini tripods they're like eight inch ones i think that's what it said uh i forgot yeah eight inch right over there it says it's kind of like this huge one i have but it's going to be a whole lot less brighter and but it looks like it's rgb so we'll see like what we can do with that and i bought two of them so i'll have one of them on the left side and another one on the right side there's light number one and then light number two is also right over here and as you guys can see there's like a little bit of a black pole and i just have it like standing on these tripods on each side there's also a lot of cables now that i like have all this new stuff but yeah i have them each on these tripods i originally was actually going to put them each on top of the sides of the desk but one it makes it look a lot worse and then two they were like way too big that the leg was already extending out to here so it just looked really really bad so it looks a lot nicer like this right now keep in mind that everything in the setup is still not plugged in which is why there's just like a bunch of cables all over the place i never knew that these existed but it's called like the kayo i might be mispronouncing that but it's from razor and it looks like it's a little bit of a webcam with a small ring light around it so i'm also going to be testing that and this even though i'm building a budget setup i'm kind of trying to build more of like not a streamer's budget setup but one that maybe like a content creator could use which is why we're also buying a camera so yeah everything that i've had in the setup except the monitor so far has kind of been more of like an unknown brand so having this kind of razor camera the first thing i can definitely tell just the packaging is so different it's a whole lot nicer i mean everything just looks a whole lot more uh well packaged and everything like that and then here's the camera it's just really small the webcam the webcam actually looks super minimal and i kind of like it because it's not like a huge piece that kind of blocks the setup but look at this setup so far it actually looks really good let me know so far in the comments how it looks right now rate it down below one through ten probably i mean nothing's turned on but i'd rate it like a solid seven it actually is not too bad at all especially for the budget we have but no setup is complete without oh my gosh just i almost just literally broke my entire camera falling this is why i need to clear this out because there's so many boxes bro okay what i was saying though before i almost broke my camera is no setup is complete without all the rgb and led lights so of course i had to buy some okay let's go over here without falling over again okay there we go and here are the two rgb strips that i got they're from monster i used to have these like two or three years ago they're kind of more on the budget side but they, hey they work at least they have some rgb lights so i'm gonna set them up real quick i don't really know what i'm gonna do maybe just one around uh the setup and i don't know if i'll actually even end up using the second one i think i'm actually gonna be using these ones because as you can see the rgb strips kind of look like neon uh led light strips so it's kind of like this so it actually looks a little bit better and cleaner compared to these ones where they have 
have a little bunch of bulbs. I can't even like talk right now. But yeah, these are kind of like the normal LED strips. And these are a little bit more expensive just because they look a little bit cleaner. So then with them looking a little cleaner, I can probably wrap it all over here and then it'll go behind and then on the corner. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Actually change the plans. I'm just going to set these ones up because they actually have like a little bit of a sticky adhesive or something just so I don't have to like tape each part of it because setting these ones up is going to be like a little bit time consuming, just annoying. But yeah, these will just stick a little bit better. So I'm just going to put them up really quick. Some of you guys might be wondering exactly what PC I'm gonna be using. And I actually did go to Walmart, like I said, and I saw like an $800, $750 gaming PC. But Walmart gaming PCs are not good. They're kind of known for not being the best. I didn't want to really waste $800. So probably the next time I make a video, if you guys do enjoy a video like this, I'll actually buy a PC from whatever store or whatever I go to. But yeah, for this uh, video, I'm just gonna be using my MacBook. I'm just basically gonna connect the monitor to my MacBook for now. But everything else on the setup is 100% from Walmart. Walmart and I'll have the final price of the setup at the end. The setup looks really, really good right now, but all I have to do is plug everything in and then it'll be ready. So let's just cut to the final cinematic. Huge thank you to you guys for even allowing me to do something like this. I've always loved building setups and the fact that I can just do it for videos now is just really, really amazing. So I thank you guys so much for the support. And if you guys did enjoy this video right here, maybe I'll make a part two of actually like using this setup right here because I didn't test out like the webcam, like camera quality, the microphone, and I never even actually used this setup. I kind of just turned everything on. So let me know down below if you guys want a part two. If you watched all the way to the end and enjoyed this video, make sure you click right over here to drop a quick sub. And on the other side is one of my brand new videos and that's about it. Peace.